Hello YouTube again. Um, we've uh, so we're out. We're in the car this time. We're on another really sort of lightweight, quick stealth camp tonight. Uh, just because it's so hot and it's sort of a last-minute decision that I've made to come out. To be honest, I really couldn't be bothered. But I wasn't doing much of anything else. So we're, yeah, we're out. It's still really quite warm. Um, if you can see there, look, car still says 20 degrees, yeah, 20 degrees. Um, it's after 8 o'clock at night now, so we've still got an yeah, hour and a half, two hours of daylight left. So, yeah, we're parked up. Um, I'm going to get my stuff out of the car and we'll uh, go to a little walk and see if we can get onto this spot that I found. So I shall bring you back in a bit. Right, so yeah, as I've already said, we're out again. As per usual, we're near a main road. In fact, we're very near two really busy roads. One goes over the other, and we're sort of, depending on how you look at it, we're underneath one and above the other. So, just down these steps. Um, a bit more of a walk, not long, another 10 minutes or so. And then we've got a scramble down some overgrown footpaths. Yep, we're going up there, but not this side, we're going on the other side. Because there's actually uh, there's a public footpath runs along the bottom and you can actually get to it so as we'll see in a minute I don't know if the camera picks that up but you can see all the bits of tree vegetation hanging over the edge of the tunnel there yeah so here we are look very overgrown footpath it is signposted as a public footpath a little spiky sod here Nettles everywhere. Ah, uh, got me. Ah. I'm hoping I'd get away without being stung, but no such luck. Right, we're in. This is a. Uh, this field, look. Hay fever sufferers at worst nightmare, and I suffer from hay fever. This is interesting. So I came here just to scope it out a couple of days ago. None of this grass had been cut, so the farm has been in. In fact, there's some people just over there. I don't think you'll be able to see them on the camera. This sort of footpath runs sort of across this field down there, and it comes out maybe three quarters of a mile away further down. But yeah, the camera's straight into the sun. Just pick my way through these trees here. Um, we might have to jump over a bit of a fence. But it does, the actual fence does end a bit further up that way. You can walk around it and then walk back down, but I really can't be bothered. So, uh, I'm a bit annoyed that there's people sat over there because they're going to see me going in. And if they hang about, they won't see me come back out. I don't want anybody investigating, but we are where we are. So we'll uh, we'll just get on with it. So I will uh, just make my way through all this undergrowth, and then I shall bring you back shortly. Right, so we're now in. Uh, it's quite thick. Now we are on a hillside, so I brought the hammock. So being on a hill shouldn't be an issue. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one. Look, you see it? Oh, there you go. Look. 
lobster pot. You know, we're about 90 miles away from the from the, the sea at the moment. That looks like it's been there forever. Just just where you'd expect to find one. So yeah, let's uh we'll keep heading up and we'll just see if we can find a a spot that's a bit more suitable and we're away from the field as well and away from this footpath. Yeah, so you can just see the fence for the edge of the tunnel there. I don't want to be right next to that. Ow. Ah, got me. Oh, it opens, it's a bit clear out a bit here and it levels off a bit as well so maybe here between those two trees maybe but yeah there's the road down there and then just up there is the motorway good times you know, this camping lark, it's supposed to be relaxing and, you know, just a chance for you to enjoy nature. I always seem to end up picking spots right next to busy roads. I suppose it's the, a less trodden path. I think it's, you're not going to get disturbed here, are you? Right, so I'm reckoning between this tree and this tree although saying that I don't think they're going to be far enough apart we'll end up doing a impression of a banana in my hammock we don't want that let's keep going little bits of rubbish I think it's always a it's a good judge, unfortunately, but it is the amount of litter on a site, it's a good judge of uh, how many people actually use it. And I'm pretty certain most of this will have blown off the road. So, as with most of the sites I tend to pick, it doesn't look like anybody ever bothers coming here, which is what we want. And what we also want is this here, because it's this bit of the... Oh, look, this is actually flat here. I could have brought my tent. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh this might be this might be good. Right, I'm gonna just have a bit of a wander around. I'm also gonna eat me twister. Because that's all I've brought with me tonight. I'm not doing any cooking. So it's late on. Um, I've already eaten and when it's as warm and as humid as it is at the moment I just I never really feel like eating so I don't tend to bother so it is literally just a pitch up have a beer uh, go to sleep and we'll be gone in the morning so nothing too exciting so yeah let me find a spot I'm gonna put my bag down and I will bring you back in a bit So yeah, we've walked, in fact we are, right now, over the, um, right at the edge of the tunnel. And get this to swing around. There we go. Uh, and just see, that's the road down there. Middle of the tunnel is over that way. Where that tree is, that's sort of centre of the tunnel. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the hammock out. Tree here, tree here. That should reach that. Now, what I have noticed is get this bloody thing to it. Flies everywhere tonight. There's a bit of a path through here. It could be animals. I don't think it is. I think that's people. Um, it doesn't look particularly well trodden. 
so I'm sure we won't have anybody paying us a, a visit in the night. But if they do, I'm sure we'll be fine. So yeah, I'm going to get my hammock set up and um, then I think we might have a beer. Right, so we're all set up, nice and simple, just the hammock, I'm not even going to bother with the tarp tonight because there's, there's, there's zero chance of rain and to be fair I'm not even that bothered if bits and pieces fall on top of me. So yeah, we'll, uh, might have to make use of the mosquito net on the hammock though because there are a lot of flies around but they might die down as it gets dark. So anyway, yeah, as I said, it's just a... Uh, a really quick last minute basic camp we just uh, we've arrived really late I will be leaving really early so we're not doing any cooking although I have in my bag just found a bottle uh, a bottle a bag bag of hula hoops so we might have to have those as a bit of a snack later on but yeah stole a Budweiser in fact stole a couple of bottles of Budweiser off the wife before I came out so we'll uh, sit back and chill out and have this and I suppose um, I can watch the sun go down through the trees just over there which is always nice so yeah I don't think it's going to be a particularly quiet night we've got a road up there a road down there the one road below us should quieten down overnight the traffic will stop on that but the motorway will be going all night in fact where we are is it's the slip road it's the entrance to the motorway so you do get um, people well it's pretty much it's go as fast as your car's capable when you go down that bit of road so yeah I'm sure there'll be, there'll be some interesting noises tonight so yeah that's me I'm gonna sit down I'll drink this I'm gonna have a wander around and see what's see what's here in fact we might even follow this little bit of path that somebody or something has made see where that goes in fact I know where it goes it goes to the other side of the tunnel but uh, yeah it just passes a bit of time doesn't it so I'm gonna have this and I shall uh, I shall be back in a bit so cheers everybody Yeah, the, the flies are doing me head in already. I don't know if the, the camera will be able to pick them up. But there's loads of them. It's the joys of summer. Little slug dude just chilling there. Yeah, it's a weird little place again. This, all these bits where I camp tend to be. Um, so they'll have built this when they built the motorway. I think they built the motorway in the 1960s. So yeah, they've built this tunnel to carry the motorway over the road and it'll have just been covered in earth and in the last what are we 50 60 years just 
Right, trees like that have just sprung up on it. I mean, that tree is growing directly, like right in the centre of the tunnel. That's a big tree. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's very cool. It's just a bit very strange at the same time, I suppose. Or is it? Should it be strange? I mean, the soil there, plants grow in soil, that's what they do. Yeah, there's loads of bits of uh, like truck tyre and stuff that have where they've they've had blowouts just up there. Yeah, that fence there, that's the motorway. So there's loads of bits of truck tyre sort of kicking around here, there and everywhere. In fact, I shouldn't really have come across here because the cars on the road below can see me. So. Yeah, probably wasn't the best idea. But yeah, this path that somebody's made just goes down the other side. So I'm sure it were made by somebody nosy like me who just wanted to wanted to know what was up here. Yeah, it's supposed to be a stealth camp, this. There's a, there's nothing stealthy about slip sliding around on your backside. Right above a main road, where all the traffic can see you. So I think I'm just going to go back to my hammock and hang around and chill out there now for the rest of the night. I don't think there's any, any sense in wandering around and bringing attention to myself. Right, so we're now, we're going on for 10 o'clock and it's still um, surprisingly light. Now we've had, we've had a lot of rain the last, well, the beginning of the week, where we're sort of towards the end of the week now. But Monday, yeah, Monday, it rained all day, so everything is, has gotten quite wet. So it's a bit, it's a bit like being in a swamp at the moment, because now the, the sun's come and so everything's drying out but the humidity's just gone through the roof but it is it is cooling off it's a little bit more comfortable now um as I say I'm not bothering with a tarp tonight so I'm in the hammock now but there's nothing nothing above us so we might even get a, a bit of a view of some stars tonight it's gonna be clear all night but We've also got busy road there, busy road there. Lots of street lights, so maybe not, but we'll see. But yeah, apart from the traffic noise, these, these woods are, are dead. Can't hear any birds. We'll see if we get woke up in the morning. They normally sort of kick off around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning at the moment at this time of year. We'll see what we're like for that. I'm just going to get my sleeping bag out because it's, it's, it's still warm. But I don't think it's quite warm enough to be comfortably, you know, just out in the air with no, with no cover. So I'll get my sleeping bag out. I'll probably use it as a bit of a quilt. And, uh, yeah, I think that's me done for the day. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, chill out a bit more. I'll wait till it gets a little bit darker and then we'll we'll see if we can get some sleep. And all being well, I shall uh, I'll bring you back in the morning. So good night and I shall see you tomorrow.
good morning we're now well it's Friday um, it's about 4.30 um, I've been awake about an hour traffic on the dual carriageway underneath has now started to pick up um, it did complete the day off overnight the, the motorway is still going strong That's that's been going all night um, yeah it's so it started getting light just over an hour ago and that's that's when I woke up so I've just sort of been lounging around not doing much but as it's um, nearly properly light now but we'll get up so I'm gonna boil a little bit of water and make a make a drink and just as I said last night really I'll get packed away it's only gonna be a short one so yeah we'll get packed away and we'll get out of here Uh, there's uh, slugs on my milk. How rude. Gonna have to get off, I'm afraid. I know a lot of people like to bring sort of powdered milk or coffee mate or whatever. I really can't stand the stuff. I always have to bring proper milk whenever I come out. It's a little bit more weight to carry, but. You've got to you've got to afford yourself the small luxuries every now and again, I suppose. Anyway, water's boiling, so we can knock that off. Spot on that. Yeah, if you have stayed right till the end and watched the whole thing, um, thank you very much. If you've not subscribed, uh, it'd be nice if you consider doing so. And um, also hitting the, the like button, because that always helps as well. But yeah, if you want to leave any comments, good or bad, please do, because I always read them. Might not always reply to every single one, but I do read them all. Um, yeah, it's nice to know what people think and if you've any suggestions of other places I could go other places I could go and camp either wild camping or stealth camping or fly camping whatever you want to call it uh, please let me know and I will um, any sort of decent ones or ones I like the look of come along and I'll, I'll see what I can do Right, so we're all packed up. That's where we were. Other than a little bit of flattened grass, you'd never know we were there. We'll just have a little bit of a panic then. I've sort of got everything packed into my bag. Um, and then couldn't find my car keys. So you always get that sinking feeling when that has happened, because uh, they could have been anywhere, but as it happened, they were just wrapped up in the hammock. So we'll just have to pack it all up, unpack it all, get the keys out, put it all back in the bag. But yeah, crisis averted. So that's uh, another another camping, another outing done, finished with. Um, so I'm just going to make the sort of 10 minute walk back to the car. And say just thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next one so yeah please remember just like and subscribe if you're feeling like it and hopefully the next couple of weeks we'll be out again so thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one